Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Julie McNeil Crafts. So today I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do for ages. Ages ago, Natalie and I did um, a collaboration, and Tuesday as well, we did a collaboration for um, National Recycling Day. And I had gone through all my recycling bin and got loads of different goodies and things um, that I'd pulled out that I could possibly use in that particular collaboration. And one of the things I pulled out was this image and these, um, the, the backings of, of these. And it's been on my desk to use since. And then just with other commitments and my camera not working and lots of different things, I've never got round to doing it. But I'm having a lovely day in the loft, as you can see. That I've not come straight to video and I'm in the middle of I'm actually in the middle of two other videos but they're both at the stage of uh, needing to dry so but I'm having a lovely time crafting and I don't really want to go back to um, boring paperwork so while I'm up here I'm going to play and I've got a little while still till I have to pick my daughter up from school so um, I'm just going to dry that with a heat gun and then give it another layer and then I'll be back with a plan Okay, so I found a sort of patterned stamp in my collection. This is a Kanban stamp from years ago, when it used to be the likes of QVC that sold all the craft stuff. <laughs> Before we had all the craft channels that we have now. Okay, and I'm just stamping this with my Versamark ink pad. kind of difficult to do with them um, not getting my head completely in the shot. <laughs> okay, and then I'll put another bit just at the bottom here. That's a nice stamp. It's not the one I was looking for. I was looking for my favourite one, but actually that's quite nice to sort of <laughs> be pushed to use some other stuff that I've got rather than reaching for the same, same thing all the time. Okay. Just stamp that, that same um, verse mark, it's kind of showing up quite nice on the black anyway. Right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a nice dry brush and I've got some various um, luscious pigment powders. So this one is verdigris I think and I'm just going to put some, some of that on. I'm only putting a little bit on, you can be more generous, but it's because I'm trying to, I'm going to go through using lots of different ones. Right, this one is a pigment powder, Poseidon Blue, because I'm trying to kind of go for colours that will sort of blend with this. Right, I'm just maybe needing to, oops, sprinkled a whole load everywhere there, I wasn't quite meaning to do that much. Oops, we will have to stick that on some sort of mop up page. Okay, so we'll get that. Side in blue there, isn't it lovely? Okay, I'll maybe get a bit more of this um, verdigris and we'll stick this in. Hopefully, we should get sort of a nice mix of these colours. I'm just kind of going for the sort of moonlit, moonlit look. I'm kind of hoping that blends quite well with that, which I think it does, which is good. And then I'm just going to try, I might actually get a separate brush because that's already got pigment powders on it. Um, do I have another one that's dry? This one's probably not the best one, but all my other ones seem to have just been washed. And I'll maybe put this whiter one on as well. And this is d -d -d porcelain. This is a great one, actually. It's like you can mix it with everything that you've, everything that you've got. Okay, so I think that is us cooking on gas. So I'm just going to try and brush that, brush that all off. The pigment powder is kind of sort of stuck everywhere, but that's alright. Oh, look at that. You can tell these powders are called luscious powders, can't you? Okay, because they're just luscious. They're just luscious. Okay, giving that a good brush like so. Okay, and then I'm thinking that we will stick 
her in the middle of that. Do you want to raise it? If I do, I might need to put it on some firmer cardboard. Um, do, 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 right, okay, I'm just going to go and get some scrap card. I hope, I hope you don't mind, I've just sort of zoomed out a little bit because I just feel like <laughs> I was working in quite a small square, I was struggling to keep it all on screen. So I've just found a bit of scrap card which I am going to just brush over with some gel medium. I'm also just going to do the back of the magazine piece as well. And we can just stick that over like so. Oops. She's picked up a bit of the um, pigment powders, but that's all right. right. Let's try and get a nice smooth adhesion on there. Okay. And now that I've done that, I will grab some 3D foam. She says, she says she will grab some 3D foam. Do, 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 do. Honestly, you should see the tip I am working in. Yeah, I'm going to have to pause you, sorry. Yes, I need to do some tidying. Severely need to do some tidying. Now, I can't find my roll of 3D foam, but we've got 3D foam of some description, so that'll do. That'll do the job. So I'm just going to quickly put on that. Yeah, I've not been able to kind of get up here and craft in so long that although I'm actually working in what you would call a disgusting mess, honestly, it looks like I've been burgled about three times over. And I've had a major party. <laughs> but this little square <laughs> is reasonably clear. Okay. So, so I'm going to pull off my 3D foam then and stick that on and then we will tidy up the edges and then I think I have some embellishments that I bought from Kipboys the Works. I've been spending a lot in the works recently. Although I've got a ban on spending at the minute. What with buying myself a website, that's proved a little bit pricey. <laughs> attending business school but it's all going to be worth it. I hope you're all going to love what's coming. Right so we'll stick that there. That's just added a bit of dimension and then I'll get my great big scissors here. Especially as I'm having to cut through sticky 3D foam. I wouldn't recommend it but you know it can be done. And as you can see it makes it a bit Make such a butter chucky. Okay. And we'll do the same down there. I actually think I'm going to keep this quite simple because I'm quite liking the way it's looking already. Okay, so embellishment time. Okay, I've pulled out some embellishments. The one I that I was looking for was this, but while I was there, I found these. Which I don't know, I bought forever ago, and then you know when they're just so nice to use that you don't. You know, sometimes maybe we should, maybe we should use our nice stuff. Look at that. I'm quite, I'm quite liking that actually. I don't know. Let me change my direction. Let's see what these things look like. Sorry, that's going to be noisy. Let me see. Because <clears throat> we could have. Oops. Those are very sticky. Tell you what, put some of these on the back while I try and arrange it. <laughs> okay. This is kind of what was in my head, was to use these, but actually I think the green gives a bit of a real pop. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Just even a little bit of the... Oh, actually, yeah, maybe, because I think this is all separate pieces. Maybe I should unravel this a little bit. Actually, that's separate again and have some of the... Yeah, I do like that pop of green. I, I don't know why, that is so not what I was aiming for, but I am liking it. So, let's go with that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> there you go, there's a cheap ring. Sorted. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, that's so pretty. <laughs> oh dear, 
I'm losing the plot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Should we have three? Should we have three? Should we go bling -de bling bling bling? I like, I like, I like, I like. Okay. I don't know. I'm trying to decide actually do I want to. See, it's because this rule of threes is bothering me, but I'm actually thinking. Maybe it can be a three, but it just needs to be something else. Unless we separate the leaves a bit more. And have... Oh, I know what we could do. I want... Okay, so I had a little fault and it didn't quite turn out as transpired. I am now in the biggest mess you've ever seen, so... Uh, yeah, we're having fun. <laughs> Actually, before I stick that on... I've got a little bit of um, pearl moon gilding wax here. I'm just going to put it there because I'm not quite sure how, how old it is. It's just nice to warm up a little bit. Okay, so we'll just pop some of this around the, around the edges a little bit. This is actually going to turn out to be quite a quick mixed media thing which is nice. It's nice to actually have a finished project. I feel like I've been crafting most of the day and it's all in piles drying. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with a little bit of rubbish. Now, um, Emma, the lovely Emma, Emma from My Imaginations Crafts, when I was doing, was it the BB Craft I was alternate? She gave lots of other suggestions of things that you could use that, you know, if you didn't have makeup powder, you could use makeup. Um, if you didn't have waxes, you could use metallic gelatos. Um, I happen to have more pigment powders than I do makeup because, yeah. <laughs> and I don't have metallic gelatos because that's... So I'm using what I've got, but she was clearly giving ideas from what she's got in her stash. So have a look at your stash, see what you can create with what you've got lying around. It's just going to sort of polish that up a bit. Knock it back a bit there. Okay. And then I was going to grab my pin flare glue this time. Okay. I ended up um, pulling the leaves apart a little bit because the original idea that I'd half thought of didn't really seem to be appealing. So I'm going to just pop a little bit of pin flare glue on the back of this. I'm trying to keep it as little as possible to be honest so that it doesn't end up showing through. I'll bring that down here like so. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll put some on here. Overly successfully. Okay. Give ourselves a bit of a, a bit of a base going. Right, so we'll bring those up here. I might bring them slightly off the piece as well. So I'll just put a bit of pin flare on this one here. Okay. Oops. Let's squeeze down the side a little bit there. Okay. And I'm going to put one sort of coming out there as well. I need to cut that wire a bit smaller. I do have proper wire cutters, but you know, those were to hand. That's generally how I craft, but I, that's why I own scissor sharpeners, because I constantly abuse them. But do you know, I've had the same pair of Fisker scissors, which I have used to cut paper, fabric, wire, all sorts, and they're still going strong. Instead, I just have a pair of scissor sharpeners and every so often I pop them through that and then they're good as new so I wouldn't worry really overly much to be honest. Invest in a good scissor sharpener or a scissor sharpener that fits the scissors that you've got. Right, I am getting myself into bother here aren't I? Can't seem to get the fingers to work. Okay. So I have this all sort of stuck together like so. Okay, and then 
Um, let me see what I've got out my Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz lettering. What have we got? This very moment. Oh, lovely to the moon and back. Has to be, doesn't it? Right, I think if we can chop that a little bit, so I'll put Love You to the Moon up there. Okay. And back down here. Awesome. Okay. Liking, liking, liking. Okay, and then these are in a strip. I want them as individual things, so I'm just going to cut into the acetate like this and cut up into them so that I'm not having to sort of pull them apart individually, which gets into a bit of a pickle. So I'll just get a few like that. Now I'm just going to clean my pokey tool there. Okay, and we'll just add a little scattering of gems all around. And hopefully, I think that's us. Uh, really chuffed with that. <laughs> really chuffed how quickly that's come together. And I've even got, if I finish just about now, plenty of time to go and pick up my daughter from school. Let's put that further in there. Yep. Thankfully, um, our school is really close. So I can normally leave with five minutes. To before the bell and we're all right. I have left it even closer than that and I've still been all right. <laughs> Two minutes to go, walking very quickly down the hill. Okay, so I have a few around there. Let's um, pop, pop some up here. Oh, I've run out of Run out of chopped ones. Let's chop the rest of those. So I've got more carried away than I thought I would. Okay. Oh, I love, I love, I love. Delighted with this. Okay. And one down here. Maybe just a few just at the top up here. Or just around the centre, what do we think? I think that could be us done. And what I will do is just actually very quickly clean my desk and show you this again so that you can see it not surrounded by rubbish. Okay. Okay, so that's the tag finished. I don't know, I'm just checking my camera up there because the view I have on my screen seems different. <laughs> so that's it finished. So this was a um, tag from that I've reused. The picture was from um, a magazine for, the lo for a local theatre and then we've just used a few crafty techniques just to finish that off. So I hope you've enjoyed your time with me today. Thank you very much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please do consider liking and subscribing and I will be back again very soon. Okay, take care then and goodbye.